Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here, and today we're going to be talking about ClickShare. So, we picked this up, we were playing with it. One thing I found absolutely crazy with this thing is as soon as you set it up, it has to be updated. So the first thing you're going to want to do is plug it into the back with uh, Ethernet. I really highly suggest you do a direct connection on this. The wireless way is a lot more... Uh, you're going to need a USB thumb drive, so if you can, even if it's just at the beginning, just plug this in and get that thing up to date. Once you've plugged it in, plugged it into a monitor, uh, if you can, you don't even have to because it's all uh, UEI online. So you put that in there. After you do that, then if you plug it in on a monitor, it'll give you a link you need to go to and all that other fun stuff. If you go to that link, Basically, you might get it where it says to you, let's just open a new one. You go to put in click share setup or something like that. And as you go to go to click share setup, um, it might give you a warning message by putting in you, the IP address it gives you because it gives you a wired IP address. So for instance, just an example, we will put in a wired IP address here. And you might get a warning for me, it logs right in, which is perfect. But basically, after it does that, then you're going to go to and you're going to go in. It'll ask you for a username and password. And then you're going to be like, oh, my God, what's my username and password? It's admin admin. Put that in after you get into admin admin. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to supports and update. And then you're going to do it. You're going to say firmware update. Make sure it's set on automatic and then go down and press update firmware. Uh, for me, it doesn't have it anymore because I'm currently up to date, but you would just update the firmware. For manual firmware updates, you would have to download the file and then update the file through here and all that other fun stuff. Like I said, it's a little bit crazier. After you've done that, now when you go to go on your phone, if you're gonna use a phone, sorry, it just bleeped out again. Um, when you go to search for the device, if it doesn't come up, you would just put in that wired IP number again. And then that wired IP number, which is in the corner right here, you would smack that in. And after you do that, boom, all of a sudden, your phone will find it and you can screen share through the app. That is how you do it when you're searching for the host. Um, and this is, again, if you have it wired. After you do that for the button, you're going to want to direct connect the button into this and let it update. If you don't do this first, chances are it's not going to work and you'll be trying to drive yourself nuts just trying to get it to work on the system. So just plug it right into the USB port and leave it alone and you'll see it starts doing it. It says finished pairing and updating button, finished pairing and updating. So now you can unplug this and put it into your computer. You'll see it starts doing this and saying setting up. We're setting up your click share. We'll let it do that. It's doing all the file explorer stuff. Device is ready to use. Perfect. As you can see, it's still blinking. You're like, oh no, what do I do? Go to your file explorer. After you use file explorer, go to click share. Depending if you're using Windows or Mac, you'll click on the app, click on it. You're going to see this pop up. It's finding the base station. And it says ready for meeting. Click here. All you do is click the button. Oh, look, we're up there. You need to do that update first. If you don't do this update, the system is useless. So like I said, if you can direct connect this thing to the internet, after you direct connect it, it's actually really, really cool. Once you have this on, you can go, and just because you're watching this on YouTube, we can click here, and we can click on there, and click YouTube, and look at that. It's super quick, instantaneous, and it does everything you need to see. Anyways, just thought I'd give you a quick thing, because like I said, the instructions out of here just sucked. I don't know if everyone gets this bad of instructions, but... Literally, I looked at it and I wanted to bang my head against the wall. Now that this is set up and ready to go, easiest thing is, is if you're not going to be using the cell phone version, you're just going to be using the laptop version um, with these click buttons. I will tell you, all you need to do is take this and after you've updated that, make sure you update your button by plugging it in after the update. Okay? Anyways, thanks again for watching. Please like if it helped you out and subscribe for more. Last thing too, 
if you are using wireless on your laptop to talk to it, make sure that they're both on the same network, meaning this is talking to 5G and it's got to be the 5G that that modem's connected into. If it's not that modem, it won't work.